Okay. That's a nice place. Oh, nice yeah, place. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. So, first question, Mr. Baker. So, when did y'all, when did Boss Hog get started? Uh, about... 14 years ago. 14 years ago? Right. What what caused you to want to open this restaurant? Well, I was in the golf business as a golf professional for 30 years, and I've been around pig pickings and uh, food, you know, <laughs> uh, all my life, and it was just something that uh, I was helping a friend out, and that didn't pan out, so I had to take it over, and it just expanded and got bigger. Okay. So, um, when it comes to, uh, you was mentioning about pig pickings, can you take us back to like your first pig picking, like your experience? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I, I can't remember back that far. Uh, I mean, we grew up with pig pickings, you know, yeah. as, as young kids. Uh, people would get a pig, a case of beer, and <laughs> put him on the grill and then stand around all day and talk and eat when you know, night come or evening or whenever the pig was finished, but uh, that was a big deal all back in those days and still is to a lot of people, yeah. Okay. So normally, how long does it take um, for you to prepare and cook the pig? And well, it, it all depends on how you cook them. If you do it with charcoal, which is the best way, it's going to take you about 10 hours of good, hard, no standing around tending the charcoals, adding charcoals as needed and make sure it doesn't flame up and catch on fire, that type stuff. So it's not as easy as it sounds, it really isn't. Yeah, well, if you do it with gas cooking, which is not as good, but good, uh, you can do it in six, eight hours. And you, it's not quite as taxing, you know, as standing around because you're regulating your heat. With charcoals, yeah, it's hard to regulate it. You know, sometimes when you first put charcoals in, it's really hot, the grease falling down, it'll catch on fire in a hurry. Once the temperature goes down with the charcoal, then it's fairly easy. It's not too hard. Okay. So I know you you have a very good business here. I eat here a lot. Um, so how many pigs do y'all go through a day, would you say? Or? Well, that's kind of a, a secret, but a lot. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. But a lot. Okay. Um, like you said, uh, you would say you grew up around pig pickings. Uh, mm -hmm. um, could you just take us back to like a traditional thing that you usually do uh, during that time? One of the things you can remember like uh, for when you was a kid or how did it become such a big deal in the community? You mean starting to do a pig at the mm -hmm. beginning of the day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. that's... You know, that's <laughs> <laughs> you go by, you get your pig ordered and uh -huh. all that type of stuff and get all your charcoal and your pig cooker and everything ready mm -hmm. and then you just go out and get your uh, charcoal slit mm -hmm. and when they're ready, you slide them underneath, put your pig on and shut the door. <laughs> and, and you just really watch, mm -hmm. you know, and make sure that it doesn't get too hot mm -hmm. because it like grease dripping on those hot coals, it will catch on fire. But once you uh, once you get over the initial temperature rise when you know mm. when you first start, then it's not as hard. It's just a matter of uh, checking your temperature, and when you need more charcoals, you add more charcoal. If you don't, you pig won't be done at yeah. the end of the day. <laughs> but uh, and people, you know, they they gather around, and one of the things that we used to do a lot. Uh, we take these long sausages that we would get mm. at the store and we throw those on uh. and maybe a chicken or two <laughs> and while we were cooking the pig of course this gets done much quicker than the pig mm. and so we, you know people come around all during the day and have a sausage and a piece of chicken while we're okay, waiting okay. for the barbecue to cook okay. and it's, it's a lot of fun really mm. that's kind of how we get started and mm. the way it got started okay so like the family, the, the immediate family, the community, Friends, neighbors, neighbors, anybody that can smell smoke, <laughs> they smell that pig cooking, they come running. They want to see what's going on. <laughs> and uh, th that's true. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. People, you know, they they start smelling pig cooking and, and they'll look around and want to know where it's coming from, <laughs> who's it 
got a pig cooking? Is it one of my buddies? I'm going over there. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, with it being so it's steep in North Carolina tradition, would you say North Carolina probably has or has become one of the world's primary best barbecue? I would say probably so. Mm -hmm. uh, it all depends on the region that you're in. You can ask this question in the mountains, mm -hmm. and it's more smoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it, you could take that smoke, liquid smoke that they use, and put it on a shoebox, and you wouldn't really know to do You know, you think you were eating barbecue. <laughs> but uh, it, it depends on the area that you're in, in uh -huh. all honesty. It really does. Okay. Uh, people there say, oh, my God, how can you folks on the coast eat that vinegary barbecue, mm -hmm. that sour vinegary barbecue. And the people here, they say, how do you eat all that old smoke <laughs> junk? Yeah. Yeah. You know, but uh, no, I would say uh, overall, Eastern North Carolina mm -hmm. probably is barbecue capital of the world, to be honest with you. Yeah. 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 And the, the different the different regions have different flavors oh, as yeah. well in North Carolina. Oh yeah, that that's right. They, okay. Some of them's got mustard base, and you know, in there. <laughs> oh, so wow. yeah, and that's that's a very good uh, wow. that's very good barbecue, yeah. especially in South Carolina. That's what they use mostly is a mustard base barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't quite work with me. Yeah. Uh, I like the way we do it here yeah. with the yeah. with the vinegary and tomato sauce and that type. Barbecue. Oh, okay. But uh, in Kentucky, a lot of places in Kentucky has a uh, mayonnaise-based sauce. Uh, mayonnaise-based? Yeah. Well, you stop and think about it. You take pork with a mayonnaise on a sandwich, yeah. Yeah. and it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't like it uh, on a, as a barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. but uh, they have it there, and it works. Yep. That's great, man. Yep. Um, so, even with uh, you know all things considered, now you see see barbecue as moving forward in North Carolina, t overtaking or probably becoming bigger than tobacco has been. Well, I, I don't, I can't say that. I, I really don't know uh, mm. numbers and things like that. Um, I don't notice. Uh, any difference in, in people coming in uh, you know you got young and old mm -hmm. and yeah. so I think it's going to continue to grow you know, whether or not it's bigger than tobacco or not I don't know <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but uh, I think that's something that's going to be around after we're gone yeah. yeah yeah well thank you so much sir thank for you. the interview I, I enjoyed it uh, all right appreciate okay. it and uh, you know uh, I'll definitely be eating here again I ate here for the first time uh, he he introduced me to the place, and uh, you know, I was like, "Oh man, I thought it was, I thought it was something else." And then when every time I come by, I smell, mm, yeah, they be smelling good early in the morning. That's right. We <laughs> cook all night and and uh, serve all day. Oh, that's kind of the way it's done. Mm. Here. Uh, except for chicken, that's cooked twice a day. Mm -hmm. We cook in the morning for the noon mm -hmm. uh, right. meal, and we cook in mid afternoon for the night mm. shift. So we keep fresh chicken all the time, and ribs basically the same way yeah. and we sell as many ribs as we yeah. do barbecue we, we sell a lot of ribs here yeah. we sure do oh man and the sauce is great too the yeah. sauce is great well, by you. the way I, I appreciate I love. that uh, he told me about it he's been eating here for years so yeah. he grew up here on balls all well that rib sauce is is we sell a lot of that mm -hmm. uh, right by the jug by yeah, the gallon I do I come here and buy it often mm -hmm. oh you sell the rib sauce yeah. mm -hmm. what? by the gallon right Oh, well, anyway, man. any amount you want, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, you once again. Welcome. And, uh...